largest trade show for the firearms, ammunition, hunting, and shooting accessories industry is hitting all the marks. I, I knew it was big, but I didn't think it was this big. It's actually, I mean, it has the feel of basically walking into like a, a big football game. We do custom builds on 1911s AR-15s, and being able to get suppliers for parts like uh, Caspian slides is incredible. I mean, as a training school, we'd like to incorporate new uh, products, new techniques, new thoughts, and so always looking for new stuff here at SHOT. There's no such thing as too many guns, too much ammo, or too much fun. So, you know, what could be better than SHOT Show for that? You're watching SHOT Show TV. I'm Rachel Kopchak, and we are wrapping up a very exciting week here, being able to showcase some of the cutting edge products. I'm David Lombardo, and don't forget the business connections and the exposure to innovative ideas to help people further their business right here at SHOT Show 2017. More than 64,000 industry professionals boosted their business on the trade show floor. Attendees checked out firearms, ammunition, outdoor equipment, law enforcement and tactical products and services spread out over three different levels. You also never know who you might see. Joined now by NBA legend Carl Malone and Adam Ranula with Palmetto State Armory. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you for having us. So tell us a little bit, Adam, about this partnership you guys have created. So as a manufacturer in the industry, we recognize that over the last year, the Second Amendment had become a hot button issue in the political climate. And we started to kind of investigate a little bit more why that was. Was it just that people were so adamant about it? Or was it that a lot of people actually were just undereducated in regards to it? And as we know, undereducation and ignorance can breed fear. And we said, well, how do we, how do we battle that without coming across as uh, antagonistic? So, you know, you hear the common misconception of an AR being an assault rifle or an automatic rifle, when in truly it's an armor light rifle. People don't know that. So those negative connotations automatically instill fear in people and then they're going to be anti-firearm. So we said what we needed to do was we needed to go out there and extend an olive branch to these individuals that are so vocal about uh, you know, uh, locking up guns or banning guns and find out why they had these, these passionate views and explain our passionate views and see if we could not necessarily convince them to see our, our way, but at least to understand kind of why we felt so passionate about the Second Amendment. Met up with a guy named Carl Malone yeah, over, this guy a, here. over a hunt, <laughs> and the next thing you know, he has some very similar views. Started yeah. talking to him about it, about building a legacy, not only for the industry, but for him outside of basketball. And it was something that he's been passionate about since he was a little boy. What does it mean to, uh, to you to be a part of this society and be teamed up with that? Well, the thing about it is when we created uh, our, our uh, initiative or whatever that we're doing, we get this perception about inner city and we think it's just blacks and Hispanics in inner city, but it's all uh, creed and color in inner city. So to, to go in and just talk to them about gun safety, I was five years old when I shot my fi first firearm, my mom taught me. S uh, seven years old, me and my brother was hunting alone with a single shot 410. But the responsibility that it put us on, uh, put on us to be safe was, un you couldn't put a more uh, you could put a most, more responsible thing on someone than them having a firearm without an adult around. It's just, uh, so to be able to educate uh, uh, inner city youth as well as work with our law enforcement, we feel that we're not only going to make a difference, but we already have. Some other big names in the industry also paid a visit to the SHOT TV yeah. studio this week. Take a look. This is a very special edition of SHOT Show TV, and I'm David Lombardo. We have with us the only person in the United States that has won medals in six consecutive Olympics, and that is with a shotgun. Kim Rohde, welcome very much to our show. Thank you for having me. You're gonna have to go through them because I, I can't memorize them, and you know them intimately. Which for what was for which? Well, the first three medals that I won uh, were for international doubles trap. They eliminated my event. I was forced to switch, and I went to international skate. 
and my first Olympics, I was 16 years old when I went, turned 17 five days before my event in 1996, had the USA crowd cheering me on, then went on to Sydney. And you got? I won the gold. The gold, gold at, si at 17. Yes, yes, I was very young. I was the youngest for shooting to do that in the United States. So gold in Atlanta, bronze in Sydney, gold in Athens, which was incredible, where you're marching through tunnels that athletes marched through years and years and years earlier. It's cool just amazing, the history. And then you move on to Beijing in international skeet. I got in a sudden death shoot off for the silver and went to London, came back with the gold, setting a world record with a 99 out of 100, and then on to Rio, where a sudden death, all or nothing, couldn't do it the easy way, and walked away with the bronze, making it six for six. And you're going for 2020. Going for 2020 in Tokyo, and of course, if LA gets the bid in 2024, Why not? I might you have to there. make it eight, we'll see what exactly. happens. Exactly, and that's sort of an interesting thing in and of itself. An awful lot of uh, Olympians go to uh, Colorado Springs. You were too young, they wouldn't let you in. Yes, I was very young. I was 13 at the time when they invited me, and they made an exception, but my mother had to come with me. And from there, it just grew, and um, the rest is history. I got everything that I needed at my home, from the range to the targets and the ammunition, and there, at that point, there was no point in me going to Colorado where I could only train half the year because it was so cold. Uh, California, we have that wonderful sunshine. I could train all year round, so it really has worked out well. I still live there today, and proud to say I'm a LA, California resident. And, and that's a great irony that you're an Olympiad medal winner six times in a row shooting in LA. I mean, that in and of itself is says something right there. The norm. What it's are you a talking norm. About? <laughs> exactly. So you've done this pretty much your whole life. Yes, it's been what, something that's been passed down. What's your takeaway? What what stands out in your mind about a life of doing this? Well, you know, the great thing about the shooting sports are, is the people, the places. You get to be involved outdoors, um, but also, too, it's about the camaraderie, uh, the challenges, overcoming the obstacles, and it's really been about, for me anyway, the journey. And I think that's definitely for me personally, what flashed in the seconds as the flag was raising on the top of that flagpole and has me coming back again and again. It, 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 nothing better than uh, representing your country and, and the people being so friendly and, and just so wonderful. I, I just, I love the sport. Introducing the Taurus Spectrum, a groundbreaking new micro pistol designed, engineered, and manufactured in the United States. Taurus Spectrum's breakthrough design completely reimagines the concealed carry experience, delivering better comfort, better responsiveness, and better control. The revolutionary new Taurus Spectrum is shaping the future of everyday carry. Taurus, always bring it. Maybe you'll get past the word bullpup. Maybe you'll be impressed with 11 innovations, like our patented downward shell ejection. But one thing is for sure, in the one millionth of a second it takes for innovation to ignite performance, it'll make you a believer. Innovation. Performance. Keltec. Hi, I'm Lou Ferduoso from Standard Manufacturing. Uh, the 2017 SHOT Show will be at booth 443 downstairs. Today we're going to talk about the S333. It's the most reliable, robust gun of its kind. It's designed for personal protection, very simple, the ease of use for a man or a woman or for someone that's new getting into self-protection and wants something that's very reliable, not a lot of switches, not a lot of buttons, not a lot of things that go wrong. Essentially, you break the action open, you put six bullets inside of it. When you pull the trigger the first time and this gun is not loaded, it shoots two two and two. When you're done, the gun opens back up and you extract the shells by pushing this button in the front. It, it is chambered in 25 ACP, which is a rimfire cartridge that's readily available. And on top of that, this gun is available at your local store for under $300. Hogue is proud to announce our 50th anniversary. To celebrate, we are giving away a 50 caliber gun every day of SHOT Show. To enter, stop by the Hogue booth and leave your business card. It's that simple. 
you could win one of two Hogue 50th Anniversary branded Barrett 50 Cal rifles, or a Magnum Research Desert Eagle pistol, or a Smith & Wesson 500. Hogue is a family-owned and operated manufacturer of fine firearms products. We make beautiful grips, precision machine production knives like our new Hogue Knives X5, extreme duty tactical accessories for the AR-15 platform like our three-piece AR kit, world-class over-molded rubber rifle stocks like our tactical thumbhole 1022 stock, patented automatic retention holsters, and high-quality Hogue gear gun bags. Stop by the Hogue booth and enter our 50th anniversary 50 Cal giveaway. Welcome back to SHOT Show TV. I'm here at the SC Tactical Arms booth where a really great moment just happened. We got to play a little prank on your buddy Luke Brendan yeah. and also Luke was just given um, a rifle and it was pretty amazing. Tell us what, what happened. Uh, well, two years ago, I was lucky enough to, to be a recipient of, of one of one of SD Tactical's guns, and uh, a couple months ago, Daryl called me, and he's just like, "Listen, we want to give a, a rifle to Luke. You know, he's he's been watching people get them for years, and he hasn't gotten one. So he's like, but we want to mess with them. So we're going to give it to you, and you could present it to him. So like, it it worked out really perfectly. It was good. He had no idea." Yeah, it worked out well for you, but you were probably fuming, right, Luke? And in the moment, in the moment. Fuming for a couple of reasons. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, you know, I got this kind of mysterious text message from Brennan saying, hey, you have to be in Vegas. We can't tell you why. And I was like, all right. So the only thing going through my mind is, uh, was that he was going to get married. <laughs> so this whole week I've been waiting, you know, for, for that to happen. And uh, when uh, he uh, came up to do the rifle, I was like, all right, so I guess he's not getting married. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was fun, though. So what does it mean to you, Luke, to be able to have this custom, beautiful rifle handed to you by a good buddy of yours? Uh, it's overwhelming. Um, I was here uh, a couple years ago when, when Brendan was presented with his rifle, and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's overwhelming. That's, that's all you can say. Yeah. And, I mean, you guys have given your service and now you're giving somebody's giving back to you so what does that mean to you oh it's great and especially with with Daryl he's such a good guy and, and his wife Amy that you know for the past three years we've just been great friends talk all the time meet up here and there so it's like it's it's great that you know Daryl is so good to us and you know we just want to try and you know live up to his standard I kept on seeing Luke fighting for veterans fighting for these things that I believe in and Luke, I've known him for years. He's always at events. He's always helping others, and that's why I decided. Um, you know, Luke brought a smile to my face when I'm in, in light of me being extremely depressed this election season. Um, he brought a smile to my face, and I'm like, you know, I'm not giving up this year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for him. And I know Daryl is just as grateful for everything you guys are doing for him as he told me before. So he told you to make sure that one of his rules is to get that really dirty. So you planning on doing that, Luke? Yeah, first chance I get, so. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations. What a great moment here at SHOT Show. Thank you, guys. And begin. One, two, three, four. These industry professionals are doing 22 push-ups to bring awareness to the nonprofit organization 22 Too Many. Every day, approximately 22 military service members take their own lives. The more we can raise awareness, the more people can donate, the more we help the families and spread the word on the many hotlines and all the help that is available to those veterans. Um, so this seemed like a good venue to get a lot of people involved, help spread the word. Um, we were thankful to partner with Troy. They allowed us to use their booth. Our Gargoyles eyewear booth is fantastic, but way too small for this sort of crowd. So they were gracious enough to let us use the booth space for it, and it's, it's an amazing cause, and I was glad to be part of it. There's hope. It's, it's, never, it's never time to give up. So there's always someone you can talk to. There's always a way out, and it's not by killing yourself. We can, you can get through it, but you're just going to have to accept some help from other people. Helping veterans doesn't stop there. The Military Warriors Support Foundation offers veterans mortgage-free homes, as well as Skills for Life programs where they get to take them out hunting, fishing, and golfing. I was injured in 2006, and I remember laying in the hospital bed just feeling sorry for myself. It was a really dark place, and some guy asked me if I wanted to go hunting, and then this 
it's just been take, it's taken off from there, you know, and I've never, after then, I never felt sorry for myself, you know, I saw what other guys were capable of doing, and uh, you know, it just showed me that not to focus on the things that you're not able to do, but things that you are still capable of doing. Meanwhile, meet this man, whose code name is Johnny Walker. He's an Iraqi interpreter who risked everything to work with the U.S. Navy SEALs, who then in turn risked everything to bring him and his family to the U.S. Johnny is now sharing his story. I have a dream to live one day in the United States when American forces came to my city. So my target is I want to work with those guys, no matter what's going to take me. So I get lucky. I work with them. Moved to the SEALs, more than 1,000 mission, broken shoulder, broken teeth, but it's worth it. The journey is worth it right now I'm in Las Vegas. And John Teagan, one of the survivors of the Benghazi attack. He's often hailed as a hero, but that's not how he views it. To me, the, the guys that are actually the true heroes are the ones that didn't come home. Uh, we're, you know, the most, we're just doing our job, you know. More than that, I mean, we're doing what needed to be done correctly. And, so, I mean, it feels weird being called a hero for just doing my job. On to new adventures. Visit us at EVA Outdoor Classics 2017. Built on the foundation of freedom and independence, we live in the strongest country in the world. Yet we live in fear and have a need to feel safe, to feel protected. We worked hard and together we built something that changed the nation. Protect our people, our families, our country. We are creators working tirelessly to produce something to be proud of. Our designs stand above the rest. Stronger, lighter, and built for precision. Stepping outside of the past to protect an uncertain future. Each day we fight on so that we will never be defeated. Without compromise, we have sworn to protect our families our community and our country putting it all on the line for you america seekins precision are you looking for the popular reliable and affordable steel cased ammunition for your patrons then you're looking for tula ammo this isn't your grandfather's steel cased ammo this has a high-tech polymer coating that cycles nicely through your gun and finds its way to the target tula ammo with a wide variety of calibers in stock and a quality ammunition that is friends to your customers, your guns, and your pocketbook, you can expect nothing but the best during the performance of Tula Ammo at a fraction of the cost. Companion to that, we have the reliability, repeatability, and reloadability of MaxTech Ammo in your favorite calibers. MaxTech is a high-performance brass case pistol cartridge, and it's also suited to meet the individual needs of the reloader. The MaxTech line is clean, accurate, and reliable, and delivers value. Tula Ammo and MaxTech Ammunition, the ammunition solutions your customers are searching for at a price they can afford. You're watching SHOT Show TV. The shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show continues to up the ante each year, and that also applies to its educational programs. In this session, retailers are finding out better ways to market to their customers. It's important to remember that there is no such thing as the average customer, and they need to be treated differently. According to a recent NSSF study, there are eight newly identified consumer segments you need to look out for. They 
They include the social shooter, skills builder, hunter, urban recruit, protector, collector, Debbie defense, and guardian Gary. There are several segments we see that look to be growing nicely. Um, we have buyers in the urban areas and the suburban areas of the urban fringe, younger, um, very diverse audiences that look to be growing significantly. They're realizing now that firearm ownership is fun. It's something that they can do after being told for so many years that they shouldn't. Um, so it's people that we don't usually think as firearm owners visually. They don't look like our traditional customers, but they're coming in really enthusiastic and we need to keep an eye on them. I'm building a range and that's exactly the information I need to know on what I'm going to build. By becoming a member of NSSF, you will have access to this research and more. One of the great things about the research that we provide to our independent retailers is the survey data that we have. And if they participate in the survey, they get the report for free. So here we are at the end of the SHOT Show and coming up in early February, we'll, we'll distribute a survey that's an annual survey. We've done it now 10 or 11 years in a row. Ask the firearm retailers what they see in their stores. Those that participate get about a 30 page report for free so they can see where they are versus their peers on that. And we do that two or three times. And to reach these customers, you're going to want to make use of the industry's hottest technology trends, specifically data analytics. This will help manufacturers, distributors, and retailers know exactly how much of a product to make in stock. You can improve your consumer's experience, increase retail sales, and lower inventory. So for manufacturers, I think it's very important to be able to get data directly from the consumer point of sales to understand, well, what is the consumer thinking? How do you want to shape the product in the future? And um, you know, what demographics are buying the product and so forth? And the other would be, you can use the same data to really uh, plan your manufacturing operations and really know what's in demand and what's not. Speaking of trends, there's an improved product that can help with undercover officer safety. Some challenges they face are many systems are geared towards people dressed up tactically. Plus, if you use a carry system for your waistband, by the time you reach back, it's a dead giveaway. Now there's a new solution for those who want to carry from undercover detectives to doctors. You can maintain comfort, concealment, and accessibility. This is our jacket. It's a display jacket, and what you'll see is our logo on it. That won't be on the jackets that we sell. Uh, but when you open it up, you can't see it. When it's closed, you can't see it. All of the weight is being carried on my shoulders, so it's very comfortable and well distributed. And yet, when I need access, I got it right now. What a great show this has been, Rachel. I got the opportunity to interview some of the most amazing people. Kim Rohde, the only American to win six consecutive Olympics, and she did it with a shotgun. She is unbelievable, and I got to spend a lot of time on the show floor checking out all the new products, and we're bringing you all those highlights, of course, right here on SHOT Show TV, and you can watch it in the Venetian Palazzo on Channel 30, or at your hotel, just look for the Las Vegas Convention and Tourism Channel. I'm Rachel Kopchak. And I'm looking forward to 2018. And for SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo. Why do you own a gun? Because it's your right? To protect your family? Do you have the knowledge and training you need to effectively use your gun? Do you know what comes after you're forced to pull the trigger? Handcuffs, interrogation, cash for bail bond, an unreliable legal system, thousands of hard-earned dollars for an okay lawyer, the uncertainty of an anti-gun media. Are you 100% prepared? We are. We're in all 50 states, 429 attorneys, 1,370 certified instructors, over 200,000 active members, 1.8 million subscribers, over 3 million responsibly armed Americans, one USCCA. We are education, we are training, and we are self-defense insurance. Are you with us? Visit the USCCA booth at L208 in the lobby and pick up your free Responsibly Armed American t-shirt. Hi, I'm Tyler with Silencer Shop. The latest rule change to the way Class 3 firearms are registered has created additional steps for buying and selling silencers. For months, we've been working to create new tools to help our Powered by Dealer network make the NFA process more streamlined. Right now, as a Powered by Dealer, you can use our network to sell NFA items that are sitting on your shelf or products you might have bought from other manufacturers or distributors. You can even sell silencers directly from our inventory. 
And now, with the new Secure Identity Documentation Kiosk in your shop, you have the ability to simplify the NFA process by collecting fingerprints and personal data on site. At Silencer Shop, we're working every day to make the process of buying and selling silencers easier for both dealers and customers. We hope these new tools make for smoother and more efficient interactions for your customers. Thanks again for being part of the Powered by Silencer Shop network. Introducing the revolutionary Hudson H9. With a distinct focus on the needs of the shooter, the Hudson H9 is crafted for precision and engineered to advance. Featuring striker-fired reliability, a 1911-inspired straight pull trigger, and a patented design resulting in an exceptionally low bore axis. Hudson, keep advancing. Read more about Hudson and the H9 in the newest copy of Recoil Magazine, issue number 29, on shelves now. Introducing the Caldwell Universal Pistol Mag Charger. Quickly load large and small calibers from most 380s to 45 ACP. Accept single and double stack magazines and with its ergonomic design and quick adjust magazine alignment blocks, the Universal Pistol Mag Charger makes loading magazines twice as easy and twice as fast. Simply insert a mag, lock it down, and reload easier and faster than ever. Spend more time shooting and less time reloading. With the Caldwell Universal Pistol Mag Charger. Check it out today at booth 12524. Introducing the Taurus Spectrum, a groundbreaking new micro pistol designed, engineered, and manufactured in the United States. Taurus Spectrum's breakthrough design completely reimagines the concealed carry experience, delivering better comfort, better responsiveness, and better control. The revolutionary new Taurus Spectrum is shaping the future of everyday carry. Taurus, always bring it. This is no ordinary shotgun, not with innovative dual tube magazines that hold over a dozen 12 gauge shells. That's how, in the one millionth of a second, when innovation ignites performance, ordinary tactical shotguns became obsolete. Innovation, performance, Keltec.